That one looks kind of like Snoozer. Snoozer! Sorry, pal. Let's be together again. All right, what do we need? Your trunk, that's what we need. Oh, there we go. Oh. Too stiff. That one. Much better. All right, Snoozer, your googly eyes. Excuse me, snoozer. Okay. All right. We need your battery! Snoozer! Hello! I am Snoozer! What's up, Snoozer? Sorry, Snoozer, I got distracted. I was reading a really cool book. Oh, boy! It's a book about famous inventions. I love reading these books because whenever I read these books, it inspires me to come up with my own great inventions. And that is something I love about reading. Anyway, are you ready for a trip today? What trip? The road trip, Snoozer! We're going to... I can't tell you, it's a surprise! But this is going to be one of the best reading road trips. Seatbelt. Check. Backpack? Check, check. All right, Snoozer, ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Well, Snoozer, I'll give you three hints and let's see if you can get it. Okay. Hint number one, it has lots of space. Hint number two, there are lots of animals living together. And finally, hint number three, it's where milk comes from. A tropical island. No, oh, what? Milk comes from coconuts, silly checkers. No, Stooger, I'm talking about, you know, like regular milk. Oh, that milk comes from cows. Are we going to a farm? That's it, Snoozer. We are going to a farm. Yay! Will there be animals? Of course, we're going to a farm that has all sorts of different animals. Snoozer, what is your favorite farm animal? Hmm, I really like cows because they make milk and I like to drink milk. Yeah, that's a really fascinating thing to think about. Cows actually produce the milk that we drink. Some of their milk is used to feed their young, but there's enough left over to share with people all around the world. And the milk that cows produce is full of incredibly important nutrients that are good for our body, especially when we're growing up. You know what? Let's ask Zot for more information about milk. Is it an interesting topic? Hey Zot, can you give us some information about milk? Zot the robot at your service. Activating excited voice. A single cup of whole milk from cows can provide a five to six year old child with about 48% of daily protein. Milk contains calcium, magnesium, vitamin B12, and vitamin B5. The United States is the world's leader in milk producers, accounting for 12% of world milk production. The world produces 800 million tons of milk each year. Goodbye. Thanks, Ot. Well, that is a lot of information about milk. Now, United States are number one, but there are a lot of countries with milk producing cows, just like China, Brazil, France, Germany, and many others. With so many vitamins and minerals, milk is full of important things we need when we're growing up. And it tastes good, especially with chocolate. Right, but chocolate milk adds some sugar, so it's not quite as healthy for us, but it's a lot better for us than soda and some juices. Oh, I love chocolate milk. What? Sorry, Snoozer, I forgot about that. That's the new machine I installed. 
It is my drink machine. It produces over 600 different drinks. Can it make peanut butter and jelly soda? No, no. Why would you drink that? It's a real thing. Arnie the Rain Barrel told me about it. How would Arnie... No, no never mind, Snoozer. It does not make peanut butter and jelly soda. Ugh. Anyway, we are headed for Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, we'll be right at our destination, Akron Acres Farm. Along the way, we're gonna get a health tip from Dr. Dan and your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton, is going to make a cow craft with you. Yes, that's just what I wanted. Yes, cows are one of the most recognizable farm animals and that's gonna be a great thing to make today. Oh, snoozer, here come the books. Oh, let's check out a few. Whoa! What'd we get this time? Here you go, Snoozer. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. And I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home by Catherine Crisaldi. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. You know what? That's the same author who wrote the book Stuart Little. Really? Yeah. E.B. White is an amazing author, and Charlotte's Web is another classic. It's about a pig named Wilbur who befriends a spider named Charlotte. The story is about friendship, changing, growing up, and even what happens when animals die. Die? Well, nobody lives forever, Snoozer, and especially spiders have very short lifespans. So there are some sad parts to this story, but there's a lot of happy moments too, and it's really funny. Well, that is good. I like piggies too. Yeah, well, Wilbur the pig is one of the main characters of the story, and his friendship with Charlotte the spider is one of the key important things in the story. I think people who read this story will really like their friendship. I want to read that book later today. Definitely, we're going to have to do that. But right now, since we're talking about farm animals, I think it's a great time to take a break and do your art project. Woohoo! All right, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton and make your cow craft. Well, hello, Snoozer. Are you ready to get started? I can't wait! Today, we are making a cow. And that cow is gonna look like this. So we have three sheets. So once you print those out, it'll be time to get started. You need scissors, of course, and glue. And once you have those, Time to start moving. All right, let's start with this big, big circle. That's going to be the cow's head. Okay, I think I'm good to go. So I have this oval piece. I'm going to turn it this way so I have room for all the other pieces. Then we're gonna have this pink oval shape that's gonna turn this way. And this is where the eyes are gonna be. It's kind of kidney bean shaped. I'm gonna put it right there. The eyes are gonna go on there. Do, do, do. And then, these are gonna be the ears. We got the white ears, and then there's gonna be pink inner ears. And then we can't forget the nostrils. That helps the cow. That's how I'm going to set it up, but you can make your cow any way you want. That's what makes it special when we all make things a different way. All right, I'm going to start with the big pink oval. Here I go. Put the glue all around the edge. So important to get it around the edge. Place it where you want it. This is where you really need to hold down and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do it on the other side. Little glue. Place it where you want it. And then you gotta press it down, otherwise your ears will fall off. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's missing one more thing, the great big smile. So I'm gonna get a black crayon. Here we go, crayon or marker will do. 
and then you can make a smile if your cow is happy. I'm going to make mine happy, but you can make yours anyway. You too. All right, well, here's my cow. How does yours look? So awesome. Oh, so great to hear. Okay, well, I'll see you next time. Bye. And now, the question of the week. What's your favorite farm animal sound? What is your favorite farm animal noise? Um, bull. My yeah! <laughs> favorite farm animal is a rooster. Uh, uh, Okay, what's your favorite farm animal noise? A goat. <laughs> what about you, Avery? Mm, it is a cow. Mm. And what about you, Lucas? A uh, pig. Oink, oink. What's your favorite farm animal noise? Can you make the noise of your yeah. favorite farm animal? <laughs> What two animals were those? A cow and a chicken. Okay, what's your favorite farm animal noise? <laughs> you chicken? That was a good chicken. Good job. Thanks for joining us for the question of the week. I did it! Check it out, checkers! Snoozer, that looks great! Right! The other book is called I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home by Catherine Cristal. Cows come home? Where did they go? It's a saying. Cows come home means something that's a long way away. Oh! Like I will do my homework when the cows come home. Yes, hilarious. What happens in this story? This one is a very simple story. It's about a mother and a father cow talking to their child about how much they love them. And it uses all kinds of expressions like the one I said before cows come home. So this one is funny to see the expressions they come up with, but also it's great to see so many different kinds of animals drawn into this book. It isn't a very long book, so I don't want to give too much away, but I think it's a great story for parents to read to their children before bed. And if you can, see how many different animals you can spot. Great! More cows! Yes. Hey Zot, what other farm books do we have? Zot, the robot at your service. Today's selections are... Click, clack, moo cows, that type. Adoreen, Cronin. Peppa Pig series. The Little Horse That Could by Julia Lihulu. Barnyard Dance by Sandra Boyton. Misty of Chincoteague by Marguerite Henry. Chicken Talk Around the World by Carol Lexa Schaefer. Books featuring farm animals. Goodbye. Do you know? Dogs can live from two to 20 years. In a dog male duck, it's called a drake. In a dog female duck, it's known as a hen or a duck. Ducks can fly. They fly in a V shape. This makes flying easier for them. Ducks are omnivores. They eat plants and meat. The library has tons of books about ducks. Visit the library to learn more. Dirty? It's funny you should ask that, Stimser, because a lot of people think pigs are really dirty, but pigs are actually one of the cleanest animals. They're unusually tidy. Now, the only reason they roll around in mud, as we've seen before, is because they want to cool off. 
But whenever you have a lot of animals grouped together, it's a good idea to keep your hands clean and keep washing your hands a lot. You know what? This seems like a good topic to ask Dr. Dan about. Let's ask Dr. Dan why it is so important to wash our hands. Why is washing our hands so important? Well, the simple reason is to keep us safe and everyone around us safe. Now you and Checkers are going to a farm, and that's great. There's all kinds of wonderful things to see at a farm. But a farm can also be a little dirty, so it's super important to remember to wash our hands before going to the farm and after. Now when we go to a farm, and it doesn't have to be just a farm, it could be walking around our home, it could be school, it could be a different building. Anytime we go anywhere, we're touching lots of things. We're touching doorknobs, we're touching tables, we're touching chairs, we're touching things in the bathroom. We might be touching the floor. Anytime we touch anything, we could be getting germs on our hands, bacteria, viruses, things that we really don't want in our body. And what's the best way to keep those things out of our body? You got it, it's washing our hands taking soap and water and washing all that bad stuff off of our hands into the sink and not getting it in our body. Now we know it's important to wash our hands, but how do we wash our hands? Well luckily, that's super easy too. It's just a few quick steps and let's go through them right now. Now the first thing we want to do is to get some nice warm water running in the sink. We don't want it too hot where we're going to burn ourselves, but we also don't want it too cold. We want it right in the middle. The next step is to get our hands a little bit wet under the faucet. Then, we're going to take a few pumps of soap, and here comes the important part. We're going to rub that soap all over our hands, in between our fingers, making sure we get the front and back of our hands, and we're going to rub them for at least 20 seconds. There's a couple different ways we can tell we're washing our hands for 20 seconds. You can either count one, two, three, but that's a little boring. One simple way to do it is to sing happy birthday twice. When we're done scrubbing, we want to rinse our hands off until there's no more soap on them. And then we turn off the water and dry our hands with a towel or paper towel or whatever we have lying around. Always remember to wash your hands before you eat, after you use the bathroom, or anytime they get dirty. If you do that, we're going to prevent the spread of germs for us and for everyone around us. All right, snoozer, hope you learned something. Get back to your journey. Horses have been domesticated for over 5,000 years. Horses have around 205 bones in their skeleton. Yeah, that's a lot. Horses can run shortly after birth. Giddy up, giddy up. Thanks, Dr. Dan. Wow, wow, wow! Oh yeah, Dr. Dan is a pro. Hey, Snoozer, we're at the rainbow! All right, well, if we're gonna cross the rainbow way, we need to be wearing our safety suits. Get ready, Snoozer. Changing in to our safety suits. All right, Snoozer, going through the rainbow. Well, we're here. Let's see what Akron Acres Farm has to offer. <laughs> Snoozer, look at the cow go! He is so excited to run around. Hey, check it out! It's a goat! Wow, what a big horse. That horse is so cute! Horses are such amazing animals. Hello. 
<laughs> wow, what a cool horsey! Hey, Snoozer, look, it's a rooster! <laughs> and there's another beautiful goat. They even have sheep here. Let's get feeding. Hey, goats! You're eating off a snoozer! Oh my goodness, you guys are so hungry! Come on, goats! Go, goats, go! One, two, three, four. Nice! You guys are really good at this. You must practice a lot. Baby chicks, oh my gosh, they're so soft! Baby piggies. Well, time to call it a day, snoozer. That was awesome. And now it's time for... The Joke of the Week. What is the Goose's favorite book series? People Bumps. <laughs> People Bumps. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay tuned as we check in with the library. Hello, friends. Are you enjoying your day on the farm with Checkers and Snoozer today? I hope so. Well, this week at the library, we're going to be down on the farm too. So on Thursday this week, July the 8th, we're having our Animal Tales story time with a farm theme. And we're going to meet at 10 o'clock right here in front of the farm and have some fun stories. We've got a really fun story about some pigs that don't want a bath. So you'll want to get in on that one. It's fun. And also on Wednesday, we have our show for the older kids, Unicorns Break the Cage. We've done one already, but we wanted to do it more than once so that all of you who want to get in on it can, can come. So give us a call to sign up. It's Wednesday the 8th, uh, sorry, the 7th, excuse me, at 1 o'clock. And there's a fun animated story. And there's some science that you get to do the experiments yourself. And we learn a lot about animals. Might be a little ice cream involved too. So that's that's really fun. Call to sign up. And I really hope you're all pigging out on books this summer and remembering to fill in your reading logs and have them ready when you go back to school in the fall. You've got lots of time yet to help meet that big goal for the elementary school. One more thing I wanted to tell you about today, in case you haven't found them yet, we've got something fairly new at the library, and they're called Wonder Books. Wonder Books are audio books where you can open the book and you can turn it on and you can listen to the book. Welcome to Wonder You can, she'll tell you when to turn the pages. And you'll read along with the book. Turn the page. Ready? And then when you're done, Let's begin. you'll be sure to turn it off. There's picture books. 
there's even chapter books for the older kids. So if you'd rather listen to somebody read the book to you, you can do that. And there's some of the easy reader books too. So we, we, we just got started on these, but I think you'll enjoy them. So I wanted to tell you about them. So you'd be sure to look for them when you come into the library. There's a read along mode and there's a learning mode where they'll ask you questions about the book after you've read it and you can help helps you think a little more about the story you just read. So I hope you'll check out our wonder books in the kids department at the library. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your visit to the farm with Checkers and Snoozer. Bye bye. Oh, well that was cool. I learned so much and I can't believe I saw a cow today. Moo, a real cow. Yeah, we pass farms all the time and it's amazing whenever you get a chance to go up close and meet the animals and especially see all the work the farmers do. It's really impressive and it's a lot of work, of course. Well, that was an amazing time. I'm so glad we learned so much about farm animals and next time we're gonna be going on a really exciting trip meeting with amazing animals on our next Reading Road Trip.